Hey, what is up, guys? Wicked 95 here, back with another video. Welcome to Wicked Sexer Figure Reviews, and today I am back with another full review to do for you guys. This time, uh, we have the AEW Unma Unrivaled Series 8, Chris Jericho. Guys, it's been a long time since I've done a AEW figure uh, solo, I think. The last one that I did was the Young Bucks, if I'm not mistaken. But that was a two-pack. This is a, a one figure. This is the Chris Jericho uh, figure that I was missing in my collection. Well, actually, I'm missing the whole set, but I do have this Jericho and the Mox. I am planning to see if I can at least complete the the set and and add it to the collection because I stopped collecting all on Rebelled. Honestly, I was gonna collect every single one, uh, but then they started coming out with exclusives. It was too much. Um, even in this in the main line, I started seeing them in stores everywhere, and so I'm like, okay, if they continue coming out in stores, I can pick them all up. The whole set in one store but then um this series eight didn't hit my my local stores so i was not able to find them the only one that i saw was chris statlander honestly uh and i think the chuck taylor but other than that i didn't see anybody so i kind of like gave up because after that it was a long time since i actually found this chris jericho figure uh and the john moxley i found it at walmart and this chris jericho i found it at target so and that was like probably like, I don't know, like six months ago. Uh, so yeah, this is the beginning of 2024. And I barely found this figure like way after it had already come out. But uh, either way, guys, Chris Jericho, Unraveled, Series 8, number 63, on the line, in the line. I do have every uh, Unraveled besides the Chase before uh, Series 8. And the brandy, I never picked up the brandy. I never found the brandy. So, um, and the a, the series one B or something like that, the one with the fixed head scan, head scan, uh, head scans or head, not head scans. Uh, fixed up. The body, the body tan, whatever you know, the color. <clears throat> but anyways, let's get into this. Le champion, like I mentioned, the rest in this in the set right here, Trent Chuck Taylor. Orange Cassidy and Chris Stanlander. Uh, and there's Chris Jericho there. Le Champion. So let's get to popping. I I was debating whether to open this figure and the mocks and my other unrivaled because I have the unmatched um Dark Order. So I was debating and I think it's time to open them because I was just keeping them and they're just taking up real estate with the box. So I think they look they will look better if I just put them up in my display on my AEW shelf. So I think that's what I'm just gonna do. <clears throat> so might as well open them, put them there. And yeah. And this Chris Jericho was very hard to find when it first came out. Ringside sold out and everything. And now it's going for like 12 bucks, honestly, on the on ring side. It's pretty cheap. And same with the Mox, dude. The Mox was like going for like almost $40. Brand new in the packaging. And now it's it's like $11, something like that. So it dropped significantly. Wow, this is new packaging. I just noticed. Or was it just for this on level 8? Or... I think this is a new bubble. And of course, this is the pain maker, Chris Jericho. Check that out. Very nice figure. Feels good out of the packaging. Kind of feels loose. Oh, now the Chris Jericho comes with... He doesn't come with interchangeable hands, I'm surprised. But he does have his jacket, which has a bunch of spikes everywhere. It's red. It's J right there for Jericho. Jericho with the paint on the back there with the face has all these spikes on the jacket same this is the same like um same jacket as his first actually this whole figure is for is his first AEW figure except without the paint apps and everything obviously it's all plain black knee pads and the boots 
the shirt though I really like inner circle check that out and it is uh painted on with the like a tank top type mold it does have this scarf right here that's pretty cool and the shirt the sweater the jacket I mean and then the hat paymaker Chris Jericho hat it doesn't really go on there that well honestly so hopefully in my display it doesn't it doesn't fall off but pretty cool guy dude it's nice I really like it. Should we take it off? Should we take off the jacket? I don't know how hard it is gonna to put them back on there, but let's do it. Let's take it off. Oh, this one came with all the his hand. So I'm pretty sure you have to take off his hands first, cause then that will happen. It's all good though. It's all good. Let's take it out. I don't mind. <clears throat> then we can put it back on. There you go. Oh, it has black wrist tape on this one. I don't know if the other ones have black wrist tape. And then the scarf, obviously, you could just also pop it out. Same head scan as uh, the Unrivaled 1 and 1B. But this one seems pretty stiff, honestly. The articulation. Double jointed. 360. Check that out. You can't rotate the waist like the elites, but you can rotate the torso a little bit. His kicking kind of sucks. Not not the best. Oh, actually, yeah, it's pretty good. That was just stuck. Ball joints, double jointed knees, upper thigh cut, um, upper boot cut. Now the this mold right here is the thing that I don't like about uh, um the AEW figures. These get super loose, as you can see. This boot. It's already loose. And that's the thing that I don't like about these figures. Besides the waist. I don't like the waist rotation either. Because you can't really rotate them. But. Um, other than that. It's a pretty nice figure. I mean it's pretty plain. I do have this. Un uh, I think this is the Amazon exclusive. Jericho gear pack. Where you got him. And basically a, a repeat of the Unrivaled 6. Head skin, the little bandana even with the Le Champion. But this one has all black compared to the Unrevel 6 that had the the golden lines and everything. And um I didn't bring him out from the roof from the from the from the shelf because he's weight hidden in there, but it's basically the same thing as this guy, so brought him out. There you go. I feel like this this guy would have looked better with the with the black um with the black uh, gloves, but it's all good as you can see. Same body, except uh, this one doesn't have knee pads. But either way, it's a pretty nice figure. Depicts the point the pain maker Chris Jericho look. It's really nice. I like the accessories. It comes with the little scarf, the sh the the hat here, and the jacket. That jacket looks nice. I like the spikes on it. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Down in the comments, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.